Hello all, welcome back to Uncommon Geeks. Myself Asant. I hope you all doing well. So as you know, this this is a series where we are discussing about the custom implementation. So in this particular video, I'll be discussing uh, a, a particular method called array dot concat. I think most of you might be using array dot concat day in and day out. I'll be explaining how to write a custom implementation for that method in this particular series or this particular video. Okay. Very first, before getting started, uh, I want to shout out. Which all companies have recently asked this question in the interview? Very first, Apple, Microsoft, Facebook. Okay, so these are the three companies that recently asked this question in their uh, different interviews. I read this across different uh, feedback platforms, so I got to know this has been asked. So that is the reason I picked this particular topic for this video. At least now, show BBC, be serious, and watch the video till the end. In case if you are applying for tier one companies like this, custom implementation is nowadays becoming a trendy question. So most of the interviews they are asking this. Okay, now. Um, if you not watch my previous two videos, where I have explained introduction about this particular series, and also uh, I, have, I have explained how a particular programming constraint will get access to built-in function, like whenever you create an array, how methods of array like push, pop, etc. get access to uh, it, or same way how whenever you create a string, how string methods are being accessible to that. So I've clearly explained that and how to add your methods. Your custom implementation method to the existing list. If you not watch that straight away, if you come to this, it will be a little difficult for you to go go along. So I would highly advise, please go ahead and watch it. Okay. Now, without wasting further time, let's get started. Okay. So now we have array dot prototype dot concat. Okay. The person, the reason why I have opened this, I'll tell you. In the interview, he'll ask you, uh, candidate or person, please write a custom implementation for array dot concat method. You straight away get started with the implementation. According to you. Or most of us use array dot concat to concatenate two arrays, array one dot concat array two. So our assumption is it is used to concat two two arrays, correct? But if you see the definition here, the concat method used to merge two or more arrays. This method does not change the existing arrays, but instead returns a new array. The reason I am showing this is because very first it is not concatenating two arrays. So your program, whatever you are writing, should be able to take more than two arrays also. This method does not change the existing arrays and returns a new array. Okay, you were uh, whatever the code you are writing should return a new array. Should not affect the source. Why I'm saying this is if you not read that read this definition, then you straight away start the implementation. You will not be able to cover the full full implementation of array dot concat. And tier one companies especially will never expect half baked solution. They'll straight away reject. So, if you are not sure how a built-in function is behaving, please request the interviewer to that I will see the definition. What all the things that are part of this function? What all it will take? I want to check. Okay, then please check that. Then come back and start the implementation. With my experience, most interviewer will allow that because uh, making you they they are not worried whether you are aware of the concat fully or not. Their the thing is, can you write a complete implementation? So feel free to ask them. Come and check. Okay, now. So what if I add some value into it? Okay, like this const value as y, and you are concatenating array two also and value also. If you run, you see value also got concatenated. That is, so array dot concat accepts arrays two or more arrays. Also, it accepts values and concatenate that with the source array. Now, what if you pass a function here? So value two, and I am passing a function. I am passing a function here. You see, see why I am showing all this is you have to think in this direction in the interview. Okay, if you don't think in this direction, then interview think you are not asking right questions. So you have to ask. So now before running only you can ask interviewer. Should I need to consider function and class kind of loss? If he says no, ignore it. If he says yes, then consider it. Okay. Now if I run, it is it is also it is concatenating the uh, function also. Now value three. What if you pass undefined value four? What if you pass null? Okay. So you have to ask all these questions to yourself in the interview. Then you should also ask these questions to the interviewer. The reason being, he will think, yeah, candidate is thinking in all the direction. That is what they're looking from you. Okay. So now you got to know function and if and null are being pushed. Now you must be, you must come with a strategy in your mind. That is, there are mainly two scenarios. One, when the input is array. I mean, a parameter is array. Okay. And another scenario, when parameter is non-array, it is any value. 
like it could be uh, a value it could be a function it could be undefined it could be null or anything okay whenever this second set of things are there the value is getting just pushed into the uh, the output correct whenever it is a type one that is array as an input in this case what we are doing we are iterating the values of the array and pushing the values into it correct so putting other way two broad categories where you identify the values here and push it to the source iterate the array get the values and push it here you will have values readily available push it so you should think in this direction and code okay so and also i have to tell you a very interesting point i have also not come prepared completely to uh, write the array.concat i'll be like not may not be like exactly one of you who has never wrote any custom implementation luckily i have written few custom implementation but but for array.concat i haven't written any complete working code and come to this video the reason being i whenever i come prepared for the video i generally don't make any mistake okay that's the whole purpose of preparing i know okay with that you will miss out an opportunity of seeing someone else making a mistake and learn from it so due to which i decided to selectively pick few topics and don't prepare and come so that i can sh show possible errors that you can make or what will be my thought process whenever a problem comes okay sure so this so far this has been my thought process now i'll start the implementation okay step by step and i have i need to do one shout out if any one of you are preparing for a serious front end driven interviews no matter what react angular javascript anything i prepared a beautiful series of 20 plus videos which which includes most common interview questions in this javascript topic and how to tackle them what are the possible mistakes a candidate does how to solve that all of that are very clearly explained i've tried to link that somewhere on the screen also in the description section please do watch that it will be beneficial for you okay and if you are liking whatever the content that i am making on the youtube please do like my videos on youtube channel share with your friends do not forget to subscribe to uncommon geeks okay uh, without wasting further time now let's get started with the implementations okay so i have created order.concat.js that's the only thing i have done okay nothing uh, i have no, other than that i haven't done anything so now let me try running this uh, uh, start with a, a concat implementation okay so i have const array 1 1 2 3 and const array 2 which is 4 5 6 5 6 okay then i have i'll copy the same things okay value 1 value 2 value 1 value 2 value 3 and value 4 okay so you guys already know how to write a custom function or how to include your function into the built of prototype methods correct so array dot prototype dot my concat okay Uh, on cat not contact okay so here you are writing a function so this is an anonymous function in case if you don't know what is anonymous function feel free to read my uh, watch my video i'll try to add the link also where i very clearly explain about anonymous function okay now array1 dot my con cat okay i'm not doing anything for just let us make sure we are able to trigger this okay so log welcome to uncommon geeks let me execute this okay yeah so we are trying to invoke my concat same way you would invoke any array function i'm invoking this and pop, and what this function is doing is just the logging uh, something in the screen this is my channel name anyway so just logging it on the screen so it is working well okay yeah now uh generally don't avoid logging like this in the if you are applying for tier 1 companies they think your code is you are not confident tier 2 and all you would feel free to log the reason i why i logged is i will have a diverse audience i should make sure the easiest process or the beginner process that you can follow whenever doing a custom implementation okay so now what i will do is so in for the array 1 i am concat i am passing array 2 same way possibly how we have written here that only i will paste here okay so array 2 value um, value 1 value 2 value 3 and value 4 okay uh, all these i am passing to this particular uh, method okay to array dot concat function so now here we have a two possibility like i said For, uh, first it could the the input could be the argument could be of array type or any other individual value okay now before that you should you should get access to the array with which you are invoking this correct and second point you should get access to the list of arguments that you are passing here so i think most of you would know how to get access to a function uh, or how to get arguments of a function access to arguments of a function that is simply using the arguments keyword this is provided by the javascript which will give us all the arguments that are passed to this function okay so what i am doing const argument bunch 
is equal to I'm, I'm just initially in that argument in case if any one of you are not aware of this there is a very important interview question that asked on arguments i'll try to link that also in the, in the description please go ahead and watch that okay so next question next point so now you should also get a reference to this array one correct the input array so what you can do input array is equals to this so basically here this refers to the reference with which you invoke the my concat method okay so in this case the reference is array one so now just for you you i mean since i'm explaining i will show uh, i will show log the value and i'll show input array is input array okay then argument bunch is argument bunch okay don't do this in the interview just for explanation purpose i'm doing so input array is one two three argument bunch did not print so json dot stringify okay let us see uh, argument bunch you see so zero with is four five six one is y four is null so it's a different it's an object basically that contains a list of arguments passed to a function okay so now you know uh how to get access to input array and how to get access to the arguments okay next what is the process the next the process is so you you will create a for loop okay and you will iterate the argument bunch and you will check if the arguments argument bunch okay of i is an array okay how do you check it many many ways there are there i generally use this array dot is array of this okay if not okay else then what i do is input array dot push whatever the arguments of i because we already seen there are right so far whatever you analyze there are only two categories okay don't think my implementation is complete okay someone come with a flow where wasn't you haven't considered a particular flow whatever came to my mind i considered that by the time i asked these many questions to interviewer he might will definitely say if any scenario i missed or he is expecting that scenario from me okay now next is uh in this case what we need to do basically do is same we need to push the value into input array okay but uh, uh how we do that is i'm just naming it let okay uh how we need to do that is whatever the argument values are there that we need to push into input array okay just for the simplicity i'm creating a function okay function push values so it takes two arguments one is source another is destination okay so how we invoke this is push values okay what is the source here the source here is input array the destination would be arguments of i okay um so what it does is so to the input array it should print it should add the destination okay what i would do here is for if it is fast don't worry i'll explain the step by step once again all the things okay destination length okay then um, i plus plus then what i'm doing here is source dot push what i'll do is destination of i okay then i will return the src actually we don't have to do this but just on us um, just to be double sure i'm just assigning here input array is equal to push values otherwise also it should work well because we are passing here as a reference okay just to be double sure in the interview i'm just adding this maybe if it works well if you give me some more time the interviewer give me some more time then i would remove this this line i would only keep the push values and once all of this is done i will return the input array okay and um, return the input array so that i will be logging here console dot log the entire thing i am putting inside a log okay whatever the value returned from this particular concat method we are printing here okay this could throw some errors or possibly there could be some flow that went missing but i'm just finger crossed i think it will work well whatever i've analyzed but i'll do a dry run before i run the code okay because less number of times you run the code to check your correctness the more chance you clear the interview because your mind should be calculating what is happening whenever you are writing a thing not the compiler okay now let us do a dry run so these values are there value 4 array one dot concat i'm passing all the values okay now here argument bunch contains list of all the argument that you have passed input array basically points to this array one whatever the reference with which you invoked it okay next we have a for loop with arguments bunch 
नेक्स्ट वी आर चेकिंग इफ अरे डॉट इज अरे ऑफ आर्ग्यूमेंट बंच ऑफ आई इन केस इफ वॉट एवर द फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दिस केस इट विल बी ट्रू बट इन दिस केस इट विल बी फॉल्स करेक्ट सो वी आर चेकिंग वेदर आर्ग्यूमेंट बंच इज एन अरे इफ सो वी आर पासिंग द सोर्स अरे and the destination array and we are pushing the destination values into the source and returning the source so in our case if i do a dry run very first the value will be 1 2 3 in the array 1 next whenever what you do here is here you check okay the argument 1 is array that is 4 5 6 an array yes but then what we will do we will we'll call this push values method with source as 1 2 3 destination as 4 5 6 okay then here what we are trying to do is we are pushing Uh, destination of i that is 4 into 1 2 3 array 1 2 3 first iteration 4 next iteration 5 next iteration 6 then you will finally return the value okay so now input array is 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay uh, input array is 1 2 3 4 5 6 next you come next will be y so here it checks whether array dot is array of y no it is not an array so it will come here you push the value of y here and this and this undefined null goes in a similar way for me at least in the dry run whatever the code i have written seems to work well okay if you think i have made a mistake in this step somewhere itself please do mention that in the comment section okay otherwise let me run the code okay luckily it is working well okay uh, it doesn't happen always the same way in the interview we end up making some mistake maybe i am in a very relaxed state as i am making a video i was able to write a proper working code okay so where 1 2 3 4 5 6 why okay but we need to compare correct just for the comparison sake i am also running the concat okay see so whatever the concat was doing my my concat function is also doing the absolutely similar thing okay so now i think i have covered all the scenarios here to be more uh, what you call if you want to make it more aligned you can in include this entire block in a function okay and trigger that function first and inside the function you can trigger another function etc okay but this works well for me and whatever the modularity that you want to take i leave it up to you guys in the interview however you want to do feel free to do that way okay uh, this is all about the array dot concat okay i maybe if you want last time i'll quickly iterate what everything that i did so these are the very first whenever a problem is given to you first analyze what all Uh, whenever a custom implementation given first go to the official documentation see the possibility what all values it can take how and how and all it can work and then come here and try to segregate so as i did so it takes arrays and non arrays so one flow for the arrays one flow for the non arrays okay so then code accordingly one flow for the arrays and one flow for the non so by looking at the different values you you will be able to categorize your solution okay then start implementing first write a method and uh, make sure your whatever the prototype that you are trying to trigger is triggering it properly then let's start writing a definition okay so whatever the code that i written is the optimal solution i don't think so there could be some more optimal solutions also this came to my mind in the interview and it is i know i will be able to write a fully working code with this given some more time if i have to optimize probably i would try to optimize in few areas okay and my whole point of implementing is except the push i haven't used any built in methods okay you can see this length is a property that we can uh, that also we can skip i mean we can write a custom length and push i haven't uh, array dot is array this i am checking only three things array dot is array push and the length property three things i am using other than that i haven't used any built in methods there are so many ways you can optimize the code by using the built in methods like a join and a flatten etc but i am not i am trying to avoid as many built in functions as possible okay so due to which i have written this particular solution uh that's all from this video if you like this video please do like it in youtube channel and share it the video along with, among with your friends do not forget to subscribe to uncommon geeks i have written very beautiful article about lot of javascript concept in my medium blogs i i showed few few of my blogs in my last video also i'll try i'll try to link my medium blog in the description please do read lot of articles follow me on link uh, follow me on um, medium okay thank you again for watching the videos catch you in next one